tend to think that people older than you do know what they're talking about. Well, you know that's a crock of shit, isn't it, when you get older? But at the time, you think that's that's it. And I, I suppose I was a bit scared. When you're at your best is when no one notices you're there. If you notice the sad engineer, there's probably something wrong. He needed me to bring a, a, a record player and some records because they, they didn't have one with them. And uh, I had a huge radiogram, so I said, yeah, OK. Uh. <laughs> Signed has never really felt like something realistic. So it's usually Tori Amos, and then it should be off, you know, try it. Do we champion someone into a record label and ultimately hand them over to somebody who's going to profit from them? Or are we in the game to make radio programmes? It was just yeah, sublime, really. And I said, as we came off, I said to Julian, if I never play another gig, yeah, I'll, I'll always remember that one. Right. It was it was the pinnacle. It was as good as it's gonna get. So I talked about this fellow, what a genius he was, and I said to uh, Brian, y you need to kick your kick your singer out. He's no good. Good harmonica player, but he's no bloody good at singing, and and he's a bit of a popping jay anyway. I probably didn't use that word then, but <laughs> that's what I meant. And he was quite interested in this, and he asked me to take him up to the uh, the, the Golden Eagle at the top of Hill Street. I would love to finally be recognised as a musician, as a singer and as a performer. I would love to have released albums to the mass, you know, record label, blah, blah, blah. The humorous nature of our society is uh, quite, a, quite a, damaging, a damaging thing and people have their heads stuck up their asses about, about first world problems. When really this sort of this scene going on around here. He's, I don't know what it is about the area, but more than particularly, it's just there is something good going on every night of the week. Look out for the guy who is really so friendly and smiley and wants to, you to be his friend and take you everywhere and take you out to dinner and will say, yeah, we'll, we'll pay for this, and then suddenly you realise they're not going to or they might disappear with your demo because they say they own it. Audiences never understand what you're doing. Because you can be at those decks and, you know, like one, one track which I mix in, um, which is uh, a Daft Punk track with a Dead Mouse track, I'll take four minutes and they're both running simultaneously with a loop on. I think a lot of the bands that make it in the UK, a lot, most of them sound like they're from London. I think that's because most of them are from London. <laughs> um, <laughs>